so sorry you heard all that. That wasn't music, that was more or less noise. There was a disconnect in our understanding of how this orchestra is controlled. And basically, to understand an orchestra, look at it this way. Here's an orchestra, and we can carve it up into different sections. Over here is the violin section. Over here are the strings section. And of course, the woodwinds. Over here, the brass. And over here, the percussion. Now, each one of these individual parts of my orchestra has their own music sheet and their own score to play. And what's really interesting is, of course, when they go home and practice, they don't need to have me involved at all. They just know how to play their notes and play their part. So each portion of the orchestra knows its own program and can create its own music without my being there. But then you say, well, then what is my role here? Well, my role is not to show them how to play the music. My role is coordination, to have them work together and create harmony rather than dissonance. You know what's interesting? This is analogous to what's happening in the human body. But to explain that, I have to change my coat, and here it is, a new biology. Thank you, Igor. Ah, Bruce here, biologist. I'd like to tell you about the analogy between a symphony and a human body. In the symphony, we have carved up the orchestra into each of the individual sections that collectively work together to create the fine piece of music we were expecting to hear. How does this relate to a biology? So let's just look at the plan of our orchestra. And instead of actually having the orchestra names into the sections, let's, for this model, put in the names of the organ systems. So violins represent respiratory system. The strings represent the digestive system. The woodwinds represent the heart and cardiovascular system, and so on. Now, what do we have? Well, we have a whole bunch of different segments that are going to participate and create the music of life. I say, yeah, but what does that mean? I say, well, here's the most important fact. Just like every musician in the orchestra, every organ system has its own music. And that music is not from me, but is from their own scorecard. So the respiratory system knows how to breathe and exchange air. The digestive system can digest food and process the metabolites. The point about this is very simple. The function of each organ system is actually controlled by the music within that organ system. Each organ system has a mini satellite brain that helps coordinate the function of all the cells in that community. Now these brains are called ganglia. Now here, for example, is a picture of the gut. And in the muscular wall of the gut, you can see a cluster of nerve cells. This is a ganglion. Again, it's sort of like a satellite brain. The ganglion will coordinate the actions and functions of this entire system all by itself. And so each system can actually work and do its own job without the intervention of the nervous system. For example, you can dissect a digestive system out of a human body and here it is, stretch it out, esophagus on one side, anus on the other side, and you know what? You could just put a piece of food in the digestive tract in the esophagus, let go, and guess what? Without any connection with the nervous system, isolate it all by itself, that digestive system will take that food, move it down the esophagus, put it in the stomach, begin to break it down with acid, move it into the small intestine, absorb the metabolites, and through the anus comes the waste. What's important about this? The system knows how to do its own job. I don't have to, as a coordinator of this, tell each system how to play their music. Each system can do this alone. I've said, well, if each system has its own satellite nervous system, as ganglia, then what is the function of the whole central nervous system? Well, exactly the function as a conductor in a symphony. What's that function? Not to tell each individual organ system how to do its job. The function of the nervous system is to coordinate the functions of those systems, make music and harmony. And if the coordination goes bad from the nervous system, rather than health, we actually have disease. And disease is related to dissonance of an orchestra that's not playing in harmony. But if you can bring the organ systems back into harmony, then Harmony means health. So when we look at a human body, 
and we look at the systems coordinating and working together, if there's a defect in the system, we might say the defect is within the organ system. But what we're beginning to find out in medicine today is that the defect may not be in the organ system itself, but in the coordination of those organ systems. In other words, an interference on the nervous system, an interference with perception, which will cause the nervous system as a conductor to misconduct the system. Misconducting? Well, that takes us out of harmony and puts us into dissonance. And in the human body, simply that means that takes us out of health and puts us into disease. To introduce the nature of what I mean about the body being like an orchestra, I have a neat experiment to reveal to you. Of course, in my laboratory, I was cloning cells, so I cloned a whole bunch of me. So let's invite the clones up here. Come on up here, clone one, clone two, clone three, and clone four. Interestingly, every one of these clones has learned a very famous song, row, row, row your boat. And what I'm going to show you is how they can work together and create harmony. Or, when they're not working in harmony, how the dissonance can lead to disease. Clones, are you ready? Let's hear it. No, I apologize. That wasn't music, that was noise. Actually, more it was, in my term, cacophony. Oh, okay, I mean cacophony, a bunch of noise. But let's turn this into music. So I'm going to start again, and this time I'm going to be conducting. Ready, team? One, two, three, four. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Wow, that was so much more beautiful and so much more harmony. So the conclusion is very simple, is that if the conductor can coordinate the action of each of the individual groups, rather than noise, we can make music. And the music of harmony is the music of health.